Good afternoon, everyone. This is Marco here for another afternoon devotional. I just got done walking all around the Faith Point property to all the local houses, our neighbors here at Faith Point, letting them know about our outdoor service June 28th at 10 a.m. Just because uh, we thought as a Faith Point staff, it was just kind of a neighborly thing to do. So everyone's not like waking up at 10 a.m. like, what is going on across the street uh, with that church? So we wanted to be very gracious with that. And so I was doing this, knock on people's doors, you know, wearing the fast face mask, I'm handing out the flyers and stuff, and um, pretty much every I talked to was super gracious and kind and nice. Uh, but I did notice one demographic of people, the uh, grandpa and grandma age people, were s still very nice. But they were much, much more talkative than everyone else. And I could just be standing on porches for like tens of minutes. You know, it wasn't like forever. But it was like long enough for like I was, you know, I'm sitting there like, okay, you know, you know, good talking to you. I'll, I'll see you later. Um, so with all that being said, it just made me realize like let's not forget that we need to be in communication with our grandmas and grandpas and uh yeah, just not to lose sight of that. And with that in mind, I want to read for you guys from 1 Timothy chapter 5. Listen as I read. Do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him as you would a father. Younger men as brothers, older women as mothers. Younger women as sisters in all purity. Honor widows who are truly widows, but if a widow has children or grandchildren, let them first learn to show godliness to their own household and to make some return to their parents, for this is pleasing in the sight of the Lord. She who is truly a widow, left all alone, has set her hope on God and continues in supplications and prayers night and day. But she who is self-indulgent is dead even while she lives. Command these things as well, so that they may be without reproach. But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. And, you know, really, I think we pretty much all know, like, what the scripture is talking about. Of Like, hey, we need to reach out. We need to be loving to our relatives. And especially to those in our society, like widows and orphans, the scripture would say. And so, this isn't just like, hey, you guys are doing bad at this. Start doing it. But it is like a reminder with summer hitting. All of us kind of want to get outdoors and are doing other things. And although we might have been like super on top of like reaching out to grandmas and grandpas when COVID and quarantine was first ramping up, uh, with like everything, you kind of lose a lot of passion and you forget about things and you get sidetracked and all of a sudden you're doing something else. So I just want to remind you, be calling your grandmas and grandpas, be calling your parents. We just had Father's Day this last week and um, let's be the body of Christ, loving as the body of Christ loves. And like this verse says, caring um, for your relatives, providing for relatives, especially members of your household, for um, if you don't, you've denied the faith and you're worse than an unbeliever. It's just like if you're really living in Christ, you should be caring for your relatives. Uh, with that, let's close in prayer. Father, thank you again for this time we have to gather together over media. Lord, give us a passion to care for the widows and the orphans in our society, as well as um, our relatives, our immediate households, as well as grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles, and everyone who could use some communication right now. Lead us to reach out to those who need it, and um, that we can all jointly, as the body of Christ, focus our eyes upon you, and that those who do not know you will be drawn near to you. To you be the glory, Father. Amen. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you next week.